Okay, have you ever had trouble opening a jar or had issues moving heavy furniture? I know I have. It's because these things require grip strength. Dr. Rob is here along with Kyle uh, with three uh, second tests that you can do to decode your grip strength. And it's important to note why this is so important. Why is grip strength so important? Aside from the things we listed. Yeah. <laughs> You know, this is really interesting. It's such a simple test, but it actually tells us a lot of information. How strong your grip is relates to how healthy you are overall. So this simple three to five second test right. really lets us know how is your overall health doing. Mm -hmm. And as we track it over time, as it's declining, your risk for every five kilograms decrease in strength of your grip strength, yeah. your chance of having a heart attack and stroke goes up by 18%. My goodness. Pretty big jump. So you want your, your grip strength to go up. You want to get stronger. Yes, you okay. want to have a strong grip strength. The okay. stronger the better. And we can actually measure, measure that mm -hmm. with what's called a hand dynamometer. Okay. It looks pretty simple. Yeah. All you have to do, Sean, is grab it and squeeze really hard. All right, grab the yep. thing and go ahead, squeeze. And let go. Okay. And then we just take a look at the measurement. And actually, you have a great grip strength, 120. Oh, good. good. So that's fantastic. Above 105 for yeah. the average male is a good grip strength. Okay, if you would have hit 135, that would have been excellent. Don't give it to Kyle. He'll break uh, it. He usually gets around 150. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, for women, uh, usually around 55 is excellent for women. Okay. So you, may, you can have Katie check it out real quick and oh. see what we get with Katie. Okay. Yeah, give it a quick squeeze. Where, right here? Yep, a squeeze down. There we go. Great. Not be very no, that's good. outstanding. Actually, really? 70. There you go. Oh, excellent range. 55. 55. Yeah. I'm gonna go you know what that's from? Here. You must do a lot of shopping. I do. <laughs> See, because that's one way you can improve your grip strength, especially if you're a lot of bags. shopping bags. Right. Yeah. Well, we have different kind of grips. We have a, 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 a grasping grip, you know, when you shake hands, right. Mm -hmm. right? Then there's the pinching kind of grip. Right. And then there's a stabilization grip. You hold on to things like this. And right. So women shopping, that's a grasping grip. Right. Hold a lot of a lot of you bring Kyle shopping. along. Yeah, you bring Kyle along. I'm just kidding, Kyle. But there are ways that we can improve your strength, and Kyle's going to demonstrate a okay. couple of those to improve your grip strength. One of them is a farmer's walk, and he'll show you with these. Okay. It's just simply grabbing onto weights and taking a little walk with them. A couple mm -hmm. steps out, a couple steps back. Having to hold on and balance those weights improves mm -hmm. your grip strength. Okay. So just holding those and walking yeah, back. Yeah, basic exercises. Okay. Chin-ups and pull-ups, which I'll show you. There's two different kind of grips there. Okay. Uh, an underhanded grip for the chin-up and then the pull-up, which mm -hmm. is the overhand grip. Yeah. Anytime you have to hold on to something, it's going to improve grip strength. Okay. Of course, then we have ones that you can... Rubber bands work okay. really well to increase... Your extensor strength, so you're opening your hands up. Even those bands that you have on your wrist, you can oh, put those yeah. over your fingers. You're right. And just by opening them up, yeah. strengthens that extensor grip. And that's something you can do at home. Yeah. You weight. Grabbing weighted plates off the floor. Right. Grabbing them with your hands, when you got to pull them up. Right. That that pincer strength mm -hmm. that you develop by picking them up, right? So you pick yeah. it up. Okay. Helps develop strength as well. And just pull your fingers up. Yeah. Just other like exercises that. like deadlifts. Yeah. Reaching down the ground, picking up weights. Anything you have to hold on will improve that grip strength. Yeah. Which improves your overall health and wellness. That's right. And, and here, improve your grip strength. This is exactly here are uh, what we just went over: pull-ups, chin-ups, farmer's walk, plate mm -hmm. pinches and curls, deadlift and rubber band stretch. And again, the key uh, reason why Dr. Rob is honing in on this is because this correlates with your cardiovascular system as well as uh, your chances and risk for stroke. So you want to increase your grip strength. Absolutely. To decrease. These yep. chances. And this simple little three to five second test gives us a lot of information to measure on an annual basis yep. to see how individuals are doing. And we know when they come in and they've got a weak grip that there's going to be other problems as well. Correlates very strongly with overall health, well being, and fitness. If folks out there do want to get a hold of you, how can they find you? AlphaMaleInstitute.com. We treat women as well. Quite, okay. a, quite a few women, actually. A lot yeah. of alpha females out there. There definitely are, of course. <laughs> and you can always go to AmericasFitnessDoctor.com as well. Kyle, thanks so much for coming on and showing us uh, how to do these. Of course, we appreciate you sharing your tips, Doctor. Great to be here.